Good afternoon, my name is Joseph Wilson from JTEC Institute, and today we're going to be talking about manual transmission components. So the manual transmission is what we call the input shaft. This is where the main power comes from and ends while The second major component of the manual transmission is the counter shaft. The counter shaft constantly mesh with the input shaft here, along with the output shaft. The component of the manual transmission No, 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 no. The insert only holds together the synchronous. This, okay. this is how the power flow goes. That's all it holds together. The input. So coming in, power coming in. You can't forget this is more complicated. Constantly mesh with complicated. the counter shaft. It's a big job. It holds the synchronized operation together. Through the output shaft, the power flow. Oh, the power flow of manual transmission of what we call the gear set. The gear set represents the power flow. This is the gear set. This is also a fourth gear. And this is the third gear. This is the second gear. This is the first gear. So, this gear set right here is the reverse gear, and this is the fifth gear uh, of the gear set like manual gear transmission. Oh, no, the gear that operates city. by oh. some of the following minor sets of components. Uh, we have no, what we call the, the synchronizers. These are the synchronizers, and this one right here. What the synchronizer does, it pushes and engages the gear to make the gear activate. Whether it would be fourth gear, third gear, Second gear, first gear, and fifth gear. The reverse gear has its own synchronizer assembly. Both gears are engaged. Everything in the manual transmission is currently on neutral. Everything is spinning freely. The moment any gear has been engaged through the Synchronizer being pushed by the shift force using the uh, shift rails, you know, along with the shift gauge being controlled by the uh, stick, standard stick. When a gauge gets, when a certain gear gets engaged by the shift force along with the synchronizers, the power flow works as follows. Right now, currently, this is in port gear. We have power coming in from the input shaft that is constantly meshed with the counter shaft. Now that it's on port gear, this is going to be a pretty much a straight power flow, a one-to-one -one called direct drive. When the gear gets engaged to the neutral, once again, everything spins freely. It moves to the third gear. The way the power flow works now is coming in from the input shaft down to the counter shaft, go to the third gear, come up and out into the output shaft. Go into the second gear, power flow works as follow. Input, power flow, down to the counter shaft, straight to the second gear, up and out to the output shaft. Back to neutral and going to the first gear. The way the power flow goes, input shaft, countdown mesh with the counter shaft, all the way on up to the first gear and out to the output shaft. Going to fifth gear. Synchronizers gets engaged using the shift forks. Assemblies, the way the power flow works, coming from the input shaft, down to the counter shaft, straight on down to the fifth gear, goes up and out into the output shaft. Now going on reverse gear, back to neutral, gear gets engaged, how does it work? Coming from the input shaft, that is constantly meshed with the counter shaft, Going straight here to the reverse, going up and out into the output shaft. And that is how the power flow works using the gear sets that has been identified and also being the gear sets being controlled by some of the following. Synchronizers, uh, sleeves, shift forks, shift rails, shift gates, and all of this works as one as the manual transmission works and engages the gear from first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, and going on reverse. 
Once again, my name is Joseph Wilson. Today we have talked about some of the major components of the manual transmissions, along with the power flows and some of the subcomponents that makes everything work in the manual transmission. You have a great day.